they're always together. They're never apart. <laughs> never apart. Seamus was a little bit nervous of bubbles at first because obviously he couldn't see and he'd never encountered a, a pig before or heard piggy snorts. But it didn't take long. I think animals have a real sense of trust and Seamus quickly worked out that where um, Bubbles was, there's food normally. So Seamus followed Bubbles' front. He just follows Bubbles around the, the house yard. They, they have the freedom to choose who they want to be friends with. We don't segment them too much unless it's feed time or bedtime. Bubbles was found on a rural highway and she was dodging traffic. She was tiny. She wasn't even one kilo in size. There was uh, a couple from Sydney. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get up. And they found Bubbles uh, running on, along this highway, just missing cars by a fraction. They picked her up and took her to the vets, had her looked over. She had a few injuries. We think she fell off a truck. This little cake entered their lives and they had to feed her every few hours and, and then set about finding a, a forever home for her. A week later she arrived here. She thrived and yeah, she continues to. <laughs> Seamus was born on a sheep farm. One of the farmer's friends from Sydney came and he followed her around everywhere and she went about finding him a forever home. One of our volunteers drove about six hours, brought him back here and Seamus was welcomed by Bubbles. They've remained friends ever since very spoiled. Every morning I let them out, feed them, and off they go around the garden and, you know, go off and explore. Have a great adventure, I think. <laughs> They're with each other all the time, 24-7. They sleep in the sun together, you know, have an afternoon nap, and I often see them just snuggling up together. It's lovely. And they play, prancing. And when Seamus knows that Disney is kind of freer, like more space, they jump and frolic and, you know, Bubbles goes off and joins them. They're a hoot, I tell you. They hang out with Edna as well. She's an old lady, really. She's about 15. Often you see them together, just sleeping in the sun. Bubbles is always trying to scan food from Edna, because Edna has a bigger bucket of food, and Edna just whacks her out of the way sometimes. <laughs> no nonsense. It'll be a joy to watch the relationship develop. As she's got older, I think that Bubbles has taken her role of being the eyes for Seamus more seriously. I think she knows that Seamus can't see and um, looks out for him and if he's calling out she'll come running and tell him that you know she's here and it's okay. They just really love each other and I think they're going to be friends forever.